It's Tuesday night. Time for Night Bright. On tonight's show, we got the amazing Hayden Children's. Music provided by Mona Lisa Music. And your host with the most, Sterling Thrill. Welcome to Night Bright. Uh, give it up for Mona Lisa Music, everybody. Give it up for Mona Lisa Music. Give it up for Big Mike for that wonderful intro. Thank you, Mike. Thank y'all. Hey, uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into the monologue, all right? We got a great show for you. We got Hayden Childress is going to be here. Hayden's uh, here later on, magician, mentalist, really cool stuff. Also might have a surprise guest from a celebrity. We don't know. They might pop in. Could happen, all right? So I'm going to tell y'all a couple cool things. Um, don't know if you saw this in the news, uh, but uh, yeah, did y'all see that uh, French President Macron got smacked today? Did y'all see that? Anybody see that he got slapped? Yeah, the president of France got smacked. I mean, but he was kind of into it because he's French. He's like, oh, do the other side. Do the other uh, side, you know. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> French go hard, y'all. They go really hard. Like in America, if you don't like your politicians, uh, you get on news and you complain, you know. But in France, if you don't like your politicians, you're like, hey, what did the five fingers say to the face? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know who let that, uh, who let that uh, Italian guy in France. I have no idea why it was an Italian accent, but um yeah but they do the french do go hard man because the world was like we know how to kiss and the french were like mm, do you really though i don't know <laughs> i uh, <laughs> i have more macron uh face mac things but i didn't go over my intro i didn't go over my monologue you guys i could just skip it i don't i could we just go right on to mona lisa singing some music i don't know um <laughs> you know what's funny they uh they did they smacked macron um but i don't think you could smack biden I don't think so. I think I think he would be too quick. He'd dodge it. He'd be like, oh, you missed me. <laughs> you know, someone tried to smack me back in 1963. It was Scooter Pop Douglas Dew. And he uh, almost got me, but he didn't. I think if you tried to smack Biden, uh, he would just sniff your hand as it went by. <sighs> soft, soft soap, right? Soft soap. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, hey, uh, in, in celebrity news, uh, it's Kanye West's birthday. Y'all give it up for Kanye West. Woo! Kanye West's birthday today. Woo! It's Kanye West's birthday. Yeah. Uh, Kanye West turns 44 uh, and his emotions turn seven. So, <laughs> yeah, we don't laugh at mental health. Great. I'm glad that we're not laughing at mental health. <laughs> a mom in Texas posed as a seventh grader. Um, yeah, she posed as a seventh grader in order to infiltrate her daughter's school to show how easy it is for someone to break into a middle school. Right. So she posed as a seventh grader. Texas mom posed as a seventh grader. Meanwhile, uh, an Alabama mom posed as if she was no longer in seventh grade. <laughs> She's trying to pretend. I'm going to pay Mona Lisa for that laugh. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm not going to let you smack me. I'm not French, no, you. guys this is my first time on zoom ever so <laughs> it's the first time i've ever done this give up for mona lisa coming up with that song right on the top man that's dope i love it Ooh. i love it <laughs> mona lisa did a great job uh you guys uh something really cool that i think you all should know about we all know what a public service announcement is right everybody's aware of what like a public service announcement is well we got to thinking that sometimes public service announcements just aren't direct enough and since they're not direct enough, uh, we got to get a hold of someone sometimes specifically. And since we need to get a hold of you specifically, that brings us to a segment that we like to call. Mike, tell us some personal service announcements. Man, 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 man. Don't take it personal. Leslie, 
We know the Brussels sprout tofu loaf sandwich is yours. You don't have to remind us by writing your name all over it in the refrigerator. I don't want a manogram sandwich. <laughs> Papa Joe, just to let you know that your hairline is gone. Just let the rest of your hair go, brother. Let that weed go. Don't put no more in. It's baldy. Greg, no offense. We understand you have a seven-passenger van with no AC. Your armpits stink. We don't want to smell you. Ooh. You too fucking for my cat. This one might get divorced, but oh well. Shout out to my wife. Walking around all day, looking like Becky with the good hair. <laughs> Time she comes home and took it all off, she done scare some people. That was kind of weird. Your Becky with the good hair. Every night. Yeah, something like that, you know. Just a little thought for personal service announcements, y'all. Personal service announcements. You gotta listen when I give you advice. Personal service announcements. Please wash your weave and wear it at night. Please wife. I don't wanna trade you in for a grandma. We've got 15 more years. Personal service announcements, everybody. Give it up from Mona Lisa and Big Mike. Everybody, Ooh. give it up. That's awesome. Ooh. It's coming up. You're not gonna believe this. Like y'all just totally not, not even gonna believe me when I say this. But we, we have, have a celebrity guest right, right now. This guest is super dope. You're gonna love this guy. And I can't wait uh, for y'all to see him. In fact, we're gonna hear more about his quarantine. So y'all do me a favor and please give it up for Cat Williams, everybody. Give it up for Cat Williams. Uh, thank you all for inviting me over to your show. Uh, night right. Uh, I've been enjoying everything I've heard this evening. I really have, I really have. Uh, <laughs> And uh, how can I help you, Sterling? Hey, uh, Kat, so I just wanted to know, um, you know, how has your quarantine been going? Oh, it's been, uh, hey, it's been magnificent. Uh, I really don't know what else to say. It. Uh, uh, it's something like a player like me. I just, I, I, it's always good. I am Kat Williams. Uh, how else would I be? <laughs> Kat, I love that you have, is that you behind you? Uh, of course, who else would I have behind me other than me? <laughs> uh, let, let's just be clear, Sterling. Uh, would you want you behind me? I wouldn't want you behind me. <laughs> yeah, not that kind of show. Not that kind of show. <laughs> I, um, hey, Kat, tell me something. Uh, let me say, you look like you got a little bigger in quarantine. You look like you got a little, you know, a little taller, maybe. Uh, you know, sometimes when you take a moment for yourself to just reflect on things and sometimes you just got to work on you uh, and just kind of self-help since we had this public service announcement, uh, sometimes you just have to do you. So if Becky with the good hair uh, has to be Becky with the good hair, let her be. And just like me, let me be. I love it. I'm gonna let you be. Hey, uh, Kat, I got a question for you. I remember Money Mike saying that he been pimping since been pimping since been pimping since been pimping. So my question is, Kat, exactly how long is since been pimping since been pimping since been pimping since been pimping? Uh, well, first of all, we are in uh, 2021. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we don't pimp anymore. Uh, right now, what we do is... What? We treat ladies of the evening. Uh, we don't call them out their name anymore. We really don't. 
Uh, we treat them how they should be treated. Uh, even okay. if they like to sleep with anybody they want to, uh, oh. or everybody, uh, uh, let's just say it's a buffet of people out there they can sleep with, and oh. they choose to sample every flavor. Uh, but we don't call them out their name in 2021. We call them uh, what they should be, men. <laughs> <laughs> they can do whatever they want, so they call men, is what you're saying? Absolutely. <laughs> well, listen, uh, you don't run a brothel, do you? A brothel? Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, I run a legitimate business here. Uh, we call it a booty dispensary. Thank you. A booty dispensary. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I hope you got double, triple vax for that one. Y'all give it up for Cat Williams, everybody. Give it up for Cat Williams. Uh, what are you doing? Give it up for me. More for me. Thank you. Yeah, more for Cat Williams, everybody. Ooh. You scared Mike, Cat Williams. You scared Mike. Don't know what to do. I want y'all to see. I want y'all to see Mike real quick. Hey, Mike. <laughs> hey, Mike, you ever. Did you have a question for Cat Williams? Did you ever, what happened between you and Damon when he chased you when you, with those, when you gave, when you gave up those needle nose pliers or the, whoa, whoa, no. What happened recall. between you and Damon? Did he ever catch you? Ever catch what? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't recall what you're talking about. I really don't. I really don't. Okay. Cat uh, Williams, everybody. Thank you, Cat. Appreciate uh, you. Thank you, Ice Cube. <laughs> all right y'all uh thank y'all so much we're gonna give it up for cat williams one more time appreciate y'all i got a homie that's really cool y'all gonna love this dude man this guy um you know might regret being on the show right now but it's too late because he's here right so we ain't gone he can't get out of it now okay <laughs> and so this dude is really cool all right uh, what Hayden does is he influences your decisions, all right? He's a mentalist and a magician based on the East Coast. He's performed off-Broadway in New York City and for theaters around the country. Hayden also completed a TED Talk on interactive performance. You've seen nice. rabbits pulled out of hats. Now see his hat pulled out of rabbits. I hope that's figurative. Please help me welcome none other than Mr. Hayden Childress, everybody. Hayden Childress. Hello, thank you so much, Sterling. I don't remember being here. I got to learn about uh, a French prime minister. Here's some beautiful music by Mona. Thank you so much, Mona, for all the tunes. Met Cat Williams. It's been a solid day. And hello, Woo! Mike. Uh, I'd like to show you all a piece of magic using this pack of cards. Now, some people look at magic on Zoom and they go, how does that work? Because you can't pick a card through the screen. So instead of having you pick a card, I'm going to ask everyone just to think about a card, all right? 52 cards in a deck. And while everyone's doing that, I'm gonna bring someone on screen to help me out. So uh, Mona, would you mind helping me out with this? Hey, okay. All right, awesome, Mona. So y'all can see Mona there in the corner. There she is, Mona. Did you think about one of these cards? I hope you did. <laughs> if you didn't, uh, you can just go ahead and think about one now. So you. welcome, Mona. Maybe you've heard of motivational speaking. Yeah, I'm gonna do motivational magic. Oh. I'm gonna get the cards out of order. We'll shuffle them a couple times. Mona, I'm gonna leave the cards just right here on the table. Tell us, what card did you think about? I am thinking of the black six of spades. The black six of spades, as opposed to the red one, right? <laughs> Fair enough. They're all black, they're all black, that's okay. Uh, black don't crack, they say, yeah? That's okay, right. I can't say that. Uh, Mona, we're going to make it appear, but we have to use the magic word. The magic word is Mona. Oh, fancy. Okay. Mona. Yeah, it's pretty. It's because it, it, motivation to look from the top. That's M. This one is O. Okay. That's N. Okay. Right here is letter A. The six of spades, the card you <laughs> thought about. The black one. The mm. black one too. Uh, it's incredible. Yeah. That was all you, Mona. But I want to do this one other time. Thank you so much, Mona. Give it up for Mona. Uh, Mike, do you mind coming on screen with me? Yes. Mike, did you also think about a card? Yes, I did. Okay, you can change your mind as much as you'd like. I'm gonna just start laying cards down on the table here. Mike, I'm gonna uh, lay them down one by one. 
I'm going to just get rid of them. And whenever you'd like me to stop getting rid of cards, you just say stop. And I'll stop at that exact point in the deck. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Sweet. All right, I'm going to start now. Tell me to stop laying these down whenever you want. We can go to stop. Right there? Mm -hmm. Look, I don't even know how many I got rid of from the pile. What card did you think about? Thinking of a Queen of, of Hearts. A Queen of Hearts. Mm -hmm. Y'all saw I kept dealing uh, a, a, as many cards as Mike wanted. Mike, how the hell did you do it? Look. Queen of Hearts. <laughs> Out of all of those. We're going to do this one last time. Thank you so much, Mike. By the way, thank you so much, Mona Lisa. If y'all had said different cards, this whole thing would have sucked. You'd have been like, this is the worst magic show ever. <laughs> Maybe you think somehow I'm uh, manipulating the cards. I'm going to prove that I'm not with uh, uh, Sterling. Now, Sterling, I'm going to bring you up. Thank you so much again for having me. Sterling Thrill, night bright, right here on the screen. The night is right. Yeah, just like the French Prime Minister, this trick is going to slap. Okay. Hey, uh, I'm going to put go. one. Yeah, call back. Sterling, I'm going to put a card in my pocket. I'm going to show it to all the viewers at home. We've got three people here, maybe hundreds watching on Facebook. Thousands, Sterling, I think, actually. Sterling, think of any card you want. I'm going to show everyone what card I think you're going to think about. All right. So, Sterling, close your eyes. Okay, all right, cool. okay, good. All right. Everyone, this is the card I think Sterling is going to say. I don't know. I, we don't know 100%. This is the one he's going to say. I'm going to just put it in my pocket. You guys can see where it's going. It's going there. Fair enough. All right. Sterling, open up your eyes. Okay. I showed everyone what card I think you're going to say. So okay. uh, you'll know if I get it right based on their reactions. So Sterling, your card could have been a red card or a black card. Most people would guess you thought of a red one. I did think of a red one. <laughs> and Mona's freaking out. She's like, ah, oh, time, it doesn't exist. This is crazy. And, <laughs> and it could, I mean, if it's red, Sterling, that means it could be a diamond or a heart. You value love over money, so you went with a heart. I, yeah, I went back and forth, but I, I think I landed on heart. You're right. You're not just saying that because I said the love over money. All right, yeah, yeah, no, it's a heart. <laughs> For the first time ever, tell us, what card did you think about? Oh, gosh, I hope it's right. I thought of a nine of hearts. Yeah, did you think ace of hearts and then go back to nine of hearts? If you want me to. <laughs> no, I just I thought of nine. Oh, you gotta have conviction, Sterling. It's a yes or a no. I thought of nine. I know I thought of a nine of diamonds, then I thought of a nine of hearts. Okay, nine of hearts. Well, that's the one I put in my pocket. Okay. They're just not freaking out. Okay. Uh, nine, uh, do you believe you put that, a nine of do you, hearts? Sterling, do you believe there's a nine of hearts in my pocket? Uh yeah, I don't doubt you one bit, bro. Okay, well then technically I don't have to show you because you do believe. <laughs> Okay, uh, nine of hearts in my pocket and it changed into an ace of hearts. That's the trick, because that's the card uh, I thought about, so. <laughs> okay. okay, you guys look pissed. All right, uh, I didn't, <laughs> that wasn't the one. No, look, I want to show you, there's actually one other one here. Uh, there was a king of clubs. I thought maybe you'd do a black card. Sterling and everyone, I did this one backwards. I didn't put your card in my pocket. You see, this is oh. a lot of cards. That's actually the deck of cards in my pocket. <laughs> Every wow. single card except this. This is actually not a deck. This is just one. Whoa. What is the what? nine of hearts. Sterling's card. Oh, Give it up for Sterling. That is my set. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, all right. All right. I'm putting it away. Happy to chill. I uh, hope you all enjoyed that. And if you didn't, it was free. There okay. you go. Exactly. Hayden Childress. All right. Give it up for Hayden, everybody. Give it up for Hayden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, awesome job, man. Hayden, awesome job. Hey, Hayden. So um now I'm gonna now uh, you're stuck with me. I am going to ask you a couple questions, okay? Okay. Well I can, oh, we can see the it. future so I can predict them. Uh about right, what, nine. What do you think my first question? What is it? I said about about nine. Like Oh, I was gonna ask you how many shows you've done today. Oh, today? Uh this is my second one. I did um oh. Yeah, I did an in-person one uh, just before I came here. So I did that in real life. And then I came back into this depressing uh, 10 by 10 room. I've been doing shows in the last year. So, uh, but I've been um, having a blast. 
Answer another question. Let's see if I can get the right question. Answer another question. Um, um, uh, Virginia. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Where did no I get a speeding ticket? I don't know. What was the question? That was, no, the question was going to be like, uh, you know, every redneck's got like a cleaned up cousin. So what was West Virginia's cleaned up cousin? So you got it. You got it right. You did it. You got it right. Um, all right. Hey, let me ask you some other questions, man. So look, it's really dope that you do magic. A lot of people are interested in magic. I told someone I got a magician on the show tonight and they're really excited about it. Uh, I guess a lot of people get excited when you tell, tell them that you do magic. Uh, what got you into that? How'd you start that? I watched a, t uh, it's the same as like a lot of other uh, people are into magic. I saw magic on TV as a kid and I went to my local library I picked up magic books and kind of taught myself. Um, I grew up in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and there's a magic shop in Gastonia that I used to uh, go to like once a month. I knew the owner, I was 10, and he kind of tricked me out and made me work for free, but I learned how every single trick on the shelf worked. And I would bring people in and get tip money performing. So I've been doing that since I was 10. Uh, that's wow, kind of dude. Yeah. That's crazy. I, I imagine a magic shop in Gastonia would like show you how to hide a rat from a potential uh, renter or something. I imagine, like, I can't imagine what a Gastonia is. Like, how to hide the crack from the police. There ain't no crack. Uh, yeah, no well, crack. true story. I, um, one of the first gigs I had, I was 15. I booked a restaurant twice a week. I would walk table to table and uh, I put $50 of my own money when I was 15. I printed out a, a sign said magic show. It was like just me as a 15 year old with a, you know, this corny crap. The, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But it was a sign said magic on Thursdays. And the first day someone stole it from the front of the restaurant. I, <laughs> I don't know what they would have done with it. Uh, but I developed some thick skin performing in Gastonia. There's a lot of large people being like, do me a trick, magic boy. Uh, <laughs> so I got really good at <laughs> working crowds for sure um that's crazy bro like uh, <laughs> i love it you're like my first trick was making this poster disappear that's what happened i didn't even do it i just showed up and the owner was like where is it i, was like, I don't know he's like okay well that sucks i, I just right. don't know what someone would do with a magic show poster from a uh all you can eat fish restaurant you know <laughs> <laughs> they're waiting on you to like make it huge and they're gonna be like look what i got i got his first poster yeah, they're, yeah, well, maybe they're watching tonight, and uh, they say, hey, we're watching Night Bright, our favorite show, and we got the poster here. It's vintage, so if you're out there, take a selfie. Send it to me. Here's, here's my social. You got it right there. Hey, hey I like it. It's, uh, it's ransom money for Hayden. I, um, Hayden, let me ask you this. As a comic, what happens to me all the time, and I'm sure this happens to you because you do, you do comedy and magic and stuff. I'm sure this happens to you. When you say you do magic, What's the first thing people ask you? Um, they, they usually ask me to do a trick. Yeah, they say, right. And you what's your response to that? What do you do? Um, it, dep it depends on who it is and how they ask. If they seem pretty cool, if they seem genuinely interested in magic, I'll do something real quick. Uh, I might do something like with my wedding ring here. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> you know, I might do a trick like that or... Uh, so I like to leave someone with a memory. Um, if they're a, if they seem like a jerk, like they're demanding me to do something, I won't do it. And I, I'm taking, I'm guessing with you as a comic, like or they tell a joke, and it, it's really hard to do that. Yeah, no one's ever. I don't understand that. Like I never, I never understood that when people are like, "Oh, you do, uh, uh, you do comedy. Can you show me, uh, or you know, can you tell me a, uh, you know, can you tell me a joke? You know what I mean? Like if you meet a, like." A podiatrist you're like you're a podiatrist hey will you tell me what's on this foot right can you show me <laughs> you know? like no one's there that, i you know get excited man? when i when i meet you but i don't get excited when i meet my podiatrist so maybe they're just happy <laughs> to see you hey you know what that's a good perspective i love it i love it hey you know what we're gonna open up i forgot to mention this but if you are on facebook anybody can leave a uh, question for hayden i meant to say that earlier so we'd have time for questions but if anybody has a question you can ask one. Same thing with Mona or Big Mike. You can ask a question if you have one. Otherwise, uh, I'm just going to keep interviewing Mr. Hayden Childress. Hayden, uh, what is the next big thing you got going on? Um, 
I don't know. Yeah, I, uh, I'm filming. Uh, like you got a show coming up or anything like that, or something? Yeah. You know, I, well, I'm filming for a TV day. show uh, this month, and then I'm planning like a live theater tour kind of thing. Um, so, you know, I got a lot of corporate stuff, and I'm just working towards that right now. The tricky thing has been finding venues to do the shows in, and uh, it's been so long since I've done a proper like theater that I need to rehearse it a bunch and so i've yeah. been yeah so i'm hoping by uh september i'll be doing that pretty frequently and i mean january to march every weekend next year you know i have a different city set up so i've got to be good by then but doing things like this helps me practice um i've got to be good by uh by january to march <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I just have to be well rehearsed, you know. Uh, the, the thing is, when you're on stage, if you're if you have 90 minutes in a theater, doing something like I need to bring someone on stage to pick a card could take 45 seconds to two minutes. You know, that eats into show times. So you have to get really good at da da da. My marker's here. My lighter's here. I have to be quick. Bro, and, uh, I remember the first time I saw you, I hadn't seen Up Close Magic, I think, but a couple times. And I saw you uh, at this comedy show, actually. You did a magic, I guess, set. I don't know what you call it. You can tell me what the verbiage is. Um, but you did this, like, magic. And I think you made something appear. If Again, I might, you know, I don't have the best memory, bro. But I think you made something appear from another part of the room. You know what I mean? Or, if it was, or someone else had it. And you're like, all right, where's this card? Oh, you know what? This card or this thing I wrote on or something is on the other side and you went and did it. And I just remember like, oh my gosh, how is that possible? Yeah, yeah, I actually remember it. So, uh, and that was, that was sort of, that's sort of my process for trying stuff out because I can do it in this room by myself in front of a mirror. Uh, but it's one thing until you go out with real people in a bar or something like that. So the trick you're saying, I'd have two, pe two people pick cards and sign their names on both. They would squeeze both in their hands and then they would switch places. That was the trick. Um, and that was, the, that was my opener for a while. And it was really tough to get it to trick people and, or get it to work. You know, I'm glad you remember it well. I probably Bro. left that night was like, oh, my God, I suck. But um, <laughs> glad I left a good memory and allowed me to be here meeting all of you. I love it, man. I love it. Hey, and something else you do and we both do is uh, you do virtual events, too. So you're still doing those, right? Yeah, pretty, pretty frequently. I have um, three this week and uh, some coming up next month. You know, I, I, who knows how long they're going to stay. I mean, I think a lot of companies are still doing it because a lot of companies like in New York and stuff can't, haven't gone back yet. Um, so we'll see. I've, been, I've enjoyed it. It's been fun. It's really easy. I can just walk 20 feet. Uh, but, and of course, I love seeing people in real life too. <laughs> Oh no, did Sterling freeze? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll just monologue here. Um, yeah, okay. Hey, Mona Lisa or Mike, you just want to chill, talk? Yes, let's chill. And have All right, so Mona Lisa, you like to play music. I love music. Mona Lisa, you can play piano so well, and I'm jealous of that talent. I've never been good at it. But well, I I'm jealous that I can't pick the right card like I can't pick the right card when someone no you did earlier you've you've said uh we use Mona and it and it picked your card um but you help. <laughs> that, that never works when I go to the casino you, you haven't tried it enough if you bet a hundred dollars it will work next time actually don't try it but <laughs> Mona I can't play piano but I can play my teeth how I can I show that all right I want to show this to you I'm gonna do Mary had a little lamb using my teeth like this Listen. Now, it's not just Mary Had a Little Lamb. I can do uh, any song in the world. Mona, name a song that we would all know. I'm going to see if I can play it. Can you play I'm going to leave the door open on your teeth? I'll leave the door open? Yes. Uh, <sighs> how does that go again? If I hear it, I'll know it. I'm going to leave the door open. I'm gonna leave the door open. I'm gonna leave the door open. I'm gonna leave the door open. Well, you sound much better than my teeth. I don't know if I should even play it on my teeth now that I heard you. I'll 
So I'll leave the door open. I guess. It's, I don't think I know that song. I'm stupid. It's a fancy new song by Bruno Mars. And you know, he's such a showman. I love Bruno Mars. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. A lot of the new music. I, I'm such an indie person. I, I, I need to know the new stuff. All right. Mike, do you have a favorite song? Hmm. Or not a favorite. Maybe a song we would, like, everyone would know. Yeah, I did Mary Had a Little Lamb because it was popular, but. What about Michael Jackson beat it? Yeah. I'll have to move quick. Yes. Yep. Take off. Yes. Yes. Beat it. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. That's my I music. It. I dig it. I hope that sound went out to those on Facebook. Just for Sterling's interest, make sure you go to Sterling Thrills page. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you watch with us. Um, our host, Sterling, had a little bit of internet difficulties, um, but he'll be back in just a second. So thank you for hanging out with us. And make sure, again, that you share this video. Tell people about Night Bright. Let's stay up late and do it bright. All right. <laughs> Yeah, share it, everyone. Uh, I feel like I've had enough uh, screen time. Would uh, either of y'all would you like to play some music, or what? What should we do next? I'm happy to just chill and talk. Or yeah, uh, breaking news: of uh, Sterling's uh, internet crapped out. He's we should find out who the internet provider is, and then tell everyone to switch from it. Like if it's Google, <laughs> we'll all switch to AT and T, or vice versa. I don't know. Don't switch to Comcast or Xfinity because they bombed out last night over here. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Um, I think we've come to the point in our show where I do a little improv for us about all that I've heard because I am not a jokester. I am a jokester. Let me take that back. I love to laugh. I love to tell jokes. However, I'm not good. Uh, my, my dad and my husband, they all tell me never ever 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 tell my jokes in public so like the the one that um one of the gurus here in charlotte told me the other day um i don't even remember it so it's only funny in my head but i make a little funny when i sing so i hope that you enjoy listening make sure that you go like my page that's Mona Lisa music with a q <laughs> on instagram facebook tiktok pandora all the fancy stuff that the kids use Look out, cause I'm ready to get 
like you know what i'm gonna have to dip out now i'm gonna have to go i'm gonna have to go hey yeah i said uh anyway how was the show hey we, we was jamming we was giggling mm -hmm. all right well hey. look uh i don't know if someone can i don't know if y'all can see my face we got uh, you yeah i don't know how to see y'all can see my face but anyway uh my thanks to Cat Williams for stopping by. Y'all give it up for Cat Williams. Yes. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. My thanks to Big Mike for being Ed McMahon for this show right here. Give it up for Big Mike. Yes, sir. Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh, my thanks to the best improvisational uh, improvis improvisational uh, musician I've ever seen in my entire life. Give it up for Mona Lisa <laughs> Music, everybody. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And thank you to our guest who... Uh, Thank you for filling a lot of time. Uh, give it up for Hayden Childress, everybody. Give her a Hayden. Yes. Y'all go, check, <laughs> go check Hayden out uh, at his website. You can also um, you can book him there for virtual events. You can also book a virtual events at my website, brightentertainment.com. You can also book uh, any of the artists that we have here. We can put everybody in a virtual show. I don't care. Uh, also, we would like to thank uh, our uh, internet service provider for being today's sponsor. Today's show is sponsored by Xfinity, uh, <laughs> we appreciate this little mix up. So guys, thank you everybody. Thanks Mona Lisa, sorry I missed your song, but I'm sure it was fantastic. All righty. Y'all have a good night, night bright family. Good night, night bright. Bye y'all.